From the moment the starters sent them on their way, it was the Sidenio show. He chewed up the competition on the backstretch, mowing them down one by one as he seemed to be running in a different race. Then it was plain sailing as he battled the clock coming home, eventually getting there with the urging of the crowd to stop the clock at a season's best 44.52 seconds. And he duly returned the favor to those who braved the inclement weather to watch him perform. Dwight St. Hilaire was a distant second in 46.08, with Darren Alfred third in 46.63. The appreciative crowd gathered had even more to celebrate in the century. They watched as Michel Lee Ahi got off to a flying start and looked to have the race won easily until Kelly and Batiste started gaining with every stride and just missed out as Ahi crossed first in 11.18 seconds, a season's best. But these were second in 11.22 with Camaria Duran third in 11.30. Okay, I guess. Uh, the weather kind of showed me up a little bit because when the track is wet, it's mm. not as fast as it's when it's dry. But I'm pretty happy with the performance. performance. Then they had even more reasons to cheer as the men's final was a show stopper. Rondell Sorello got a fly up on the inside lane and looked poised for the upset. That's until Keston Bedman found another gear and surged past everyone to lead first to take the win just ahead of another lead surging, Jareen Richards, who out leaned Sorello to take the silver as they were both afforded identical times. Bledman picked up his fifth national title with a season's best 10.20 seconds clocking but Richards and Cirillo clocked 10.23. I win is our win no matter what time is. And I'm mean, coming here to win, so it was one it was a great. We're going to win. No matter what time what time you're running here, we run it. I just want to win and change that we have compete to win, so we're going to win. Panam game certainly on his mind. Also the 2012 Olympic champion Keyshawn Walcott looked on course for another national title. When he uncorked a couple of sumptuous throws in the javelin event. He looked ready to defend his Pan Am Games title until he ran up and threw another long one but walked through the throwing lane to signal a deliberate foul throw and took no further part. He was subsequently disqualified but it didn't take away from a thrilling second day leaving many to anticipate day three with a relish. Ruskin Mark, TDT Sports.